Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Libra for the week starting the 5th of March. Now, this week, we have a quite interesting and intense connection between Venus, the planet of love in your 8th house of obsession, intensity, desire, and that sex styling Neptune, the planet of illusion and romance in the 6th house. A six hours can be quite judgmental or critical, but as it's sextiling it, so we've, we've kind of in a way got temptation versus, versus kind of the virgin, um, but these two are joining forces. So possibly you've had this desire, you haven't been able to kind of deal with it. You've maybe felt an attraction that you shouldn't, or there's been temptation, or possibly you're looking at your sexual desire in general, but Neptune's helping you. It's saying, okay, don't feel guilty. You know, don't be critical. Let's come together and find the spirituality in our sexuality. So it's quite full on and interesting because some of your desires are coming to the surface. But Neptune is helping you to translate this into your spirituality, to merge it with your spirituality and with your higher calling of your soul. Anyway, we've also, interestingly, got a full moon on the 8th and that's in your 12th house of spirituality and psychic intuition. But also, it could also be illusion and delusion. So be a little bit careful of that. Whatever you're feeling on the full moon, make it open to your highest good in a way. Channel, write down, keep a diary of your ideas that come to you. Pay attention to your dreams. I would definitely write down my dreams this week and, and look to see what the universe and your soul is trying to communicate with you. If you find yourself going off on some tangent, being obsessed with someone who's in a relationship or finding yourself just giving your power away to a desire, then you need to look at that. But the gift is it's being highlighted for you. Now, Mercury, the planet of communication, is at the moment in your sixth, sorry, seventh house. You're right, darling, yes. In your seventh house. And um, so you're feeling very good about the way you communicate when it comes to relationships and romance. However, it is going retrograde. Mercury's going backwards on the 12th. So anything that you want to discuss and anything you want to resolve, possibly best to have that conversation before the 12th. I do believe we are all in control of our destiny and we each have a unique shard of God and the divine within us. And therefore, I want to go down, baby. What do you want to do? There we go. And therefore, don't necessarily see it as a negative thing because it isn't. You are in charge. You are in control. But you know, also use your intuition about when the right time to have these deep conversations is. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.